Welcome back. This is still TV3 New Day and we are discussing engineering. Uh, on Wednesday, we will be marking first en World Engineering Day, uh, a day set aside to look at the impact of engineering, you know, on our daily lives, you know, as, as a country and, you know, the world at large. And so that's what we are discussing this morning. Uh, I've been joined in studio by engineer Kwabaneji, Ejepong, I'm sure you know his face, is the executive director of the Ghana Institution of Engineering, and we are looking at the impacts of engineering on the world. Why should I care about World Engineering Day? Well, first and foremost, I did a little literature background of yours. And uh -huh, uh -huh. I learned you did building technology. Yes, so. I did. I did building technology <laughs> in Hope Polytechnic. So I have an right. HND in building technology. And I was the only female in a class of 92. At the time. At the time. At the time. <laughs> and so sometimes I wonder, is, is your, you know, there's this perception that engineering is male dominated. dominated yeah. Do you have a lot of females? Well, in, in your... I think there's there's a lot of fact in that. I remember in my civil engineering school uh, class in tech in the early 80s, there was no female in our there was class. There no female, yeah. Yes, but since uh, last year, we celebrated 20 years of wo women in engineering in Ghana. We, oh. we call them wine, wine women in engineering. engineering. And that we've seen a gradual growth in our numbers. If you look at our database, I mean, it used to be less than 1%. Now we are at 9 mm -hmm. We think that we can head towards 2025 20, very soon. A lot of uh, women are getting involved in engineering. And I think it's good. It's part of uh, the things why we want to celebrate the first mm -hmm. World Engineering Day uh, this Wednesday. And but it, that's brilliant yeah. because I know that MIDA, for instance, has been championing the course of women in engineering, yeah. so that, that's good. Anyway, so tell us, tell us all about <laughs> the celebration. Well, I mean, as I said, um, last year was 50 years of celebrating the World Federation of Engineering Organizations, right. which is the global organization that represents more than 30 million engineers and engineering professionals around the world, mm -hmm. which Ghana is a, a very proud member. And there was a Paris declaration between World Federation of Engineering and UNESCO mm -hmm. to declare March 4th, which is the birthday of WFEO, which is the World Federation, as an international day of engineering. Mm -hmm. And this Wednesday, it is, is being launched across over 100 countries around the world to mm -hmm. celebrate the contributions that engineers and engineering make mm -hmm. to our lives. Mm -hmm. Mind you, I mean, the, the delivery of essential infrastructure, I mean, we sit on here, mm -hmm. the transmission that is ongoing, right. the delivery to the homes of people, mm -hmm. is all done with a lot of technical engineering input. Absolutely. And, and engineering plays a, you know, you were talking about agriculture just before I came in, mm -hmm. and that is, a lot of it is agricultural engineering, how we design new species, how we design new post-harvest mechanisms. To, to, be, to resolve post-harvest losses, for instance. That's, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. And so you can look at housing, which yeah. is, of course, you did building technology. Yes. Housing is critical. And we, critical. we know that in Ghana, we have about 2 million homes deficit that mm -hmm. we should supply. So mm -hmm. it behoves on us, the engineering community, to design new measures to be able to deliver value for money and affordable housing in quotes. So people mm -hmm. think that there's no affordable housing housing in Ghana mm -hmm. and power systems, mm -hmm. you know, sanitation is all engineering, digital infrastructure. Sanitation is a big problem for a major, as a country major, major and major we have a, we have drainage problems, yeah. you know, so I mean how is the engineering society helping to resolve well, these I, many challenges? I, I think it's important that we take this one step at a time. Right. Um, this decision by the World Federation of Engineering to attach so much effort to the attainment of the UN SDGs. Mm -hmm. Mind you, since the Earth Summit in 1992 in Rio de Janeiro, I'm sure you're pretty young that time, mm -hmm. um, you know, sustainability has become the cornerstone of the world development policy. Mm -hmm. And so right now we are looking at bringing out interventions that will secure future generations. Whilst we satisfy ourselves today, we don't have to put future generations at risk no. so that we don't make them incapable mm -hmm. of satisfying their needs, say, 50 years down the line. So whatever engineering intervention that we think about, we should be looking into the future. Mm -hmm. So if you look at goal nine, for instance, which right. is one of the SDGs, we now have 
17 SDGs, mm. United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. And Goal 9 talks about industry, innovation, and infrastructure. How is new technology and innovation reshaping engineering for a greener environment, mm -hmm. for a greener living? And even we are talking about development engineering. Mm -hmm. Can we continue to teach engineers the same way we were taught? Mm -hmm. I mean, life has changed. And so as we move into the new era, it's very important that we take this on board. And at the Ghana Institution of Engineering, we, are, we want to work with ac academia, industry, business, government, civil society, using a model that the WFU refers to as a quadruple helix model. Mm -hmm. It is no, no more useful mm -hmm. to have this silo mentality mm -hmm. and that it is not only engineers that can solve society's problems. Mm -hmm. We need our social scientists. Mm -hmm. We need our financial engineers. We need mm -hmm. other segments of society. And, that, and that brings me to what your institution, how you're collaborating with other engineering professionals like That's in right. Africa, yeah. just to, you know, so, so how, how is the collaboration like? Well, we, we, we run the headquarters of the West African Federation of Engineering Organizations. Mm -hmm. We are a very important member of the Federation of Africa and engineering organization. In fact, I'm proud to say that our past president, who was the first woman to become president of the Ghana Institution of Engineering, engineering Kalin Bushedid, she is now the president-elect of the African body. So from 2021, we'll have a, a woman at the pinnacle of engineering in Africa. Wow. So we've, we've moved. That's We're, good. That's very good. So mm -hmm. we want to use this occasion mm -hmm. to raise awareness about engineering, mm -hmm. to especially for the girl child, mm -hmm. and to encourage more women and to make engineering a bit softer because as you said many people think engineering is it's very a male hard dominated it's male area, dominated yeah. area mm -hmm. and so we want to encourage a lot of uh, young kids and what we are doing is we are collaborating with unesco ghana mm -hmm. the accra technical university mm -hmm. so the main event will be at 9 a.m mm -hmm. on the campus or the auditorium of the accra technical university where we are bringing about 400 school kids uh, between the ages of 8 and 15. We want to catch them young. Mm -hmm. um, and then we would have people do some demonstrations to them. Mm -hmm. Explain to them the role of engineering. Most mm -hmm. people don't know. Mm -hmm. Even if you look at the hydrological cycle, right. that is the rain that falls, how we trap it into a dam or, or uh, hydroelectric power. Mm -hmm. We use some to produce potable water for us to drink. We use some to produce electricity. How we transmit that electricity through the power lines is all down to engineering. And I think engineering. we should move away from the abstract or, or, or the, the technical. Let's make it practical for them. That's right. Sometimes you can't reconcile you know, the two. You don't know what you're talking about because you can really see it. Yeah. So if you can make it very practicable, it's easy for people to even get interested. Well, now, yeah. now things are a bit different. First mm -hmm. and foremost, I think, just to add on to what I said earlier, we are having a celebration in Ho. Mm -hmm. That is our branch in Ho is doing a similar thing uh, in Kumasi as well, and then Tamale too. Um, so they, we have an interaction, especially with the students, mm -hmm. to get them more interested in aspiring to become engineers or engineering professionals, right. to take up engineering careers. Because I think that is, if you want the world to change, if you want to improve the world, then become an engineer. Become an because, engineer. you know, today there are, there are new areas like robotics, yeah. artificial intelligence, mm -hmm. uh, internet of things. These are all impacting on how we do things in the world. And, mm -hmm. and right now, biomedical engineering, for instance, we have a lot of ladies in it. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, these days, if you look at all the uh, surgeries that go on, it's not as it used to be in the past. You're no. using a lot of new technical equipment, mm -hmm. and that's what biomedical engineering is about. And we need to get these young people to understand, mm -hmm. especially the young girls, that they can be a good professional uh, transportation engineer because now we have autonomous vehicles. Right. We are heading towards a time where we'll have driverless vehicles, uh, connected vehicles, you know, and vehicles and human beings communicating. Today, if you take your phone, what you can do with your phone is substantially different from what we were used to in our time in school. Mm -hmm. So the day is an opportunity for the engineering community to celebrate the contributions of engineers and engineering to society. Absolutely. And we are looking at the key goals, mm -hmm. uh, goal six, which is water and sanitation, which mm -hmm. is very yeah, critical that's my for, area, critical for me. For, for Ghana. We need to resolve our many challenges when it comes to sanitation. Well, you know, um, I think and, we... And I'm hoping that your organization... Well, we are open to help. work with the mm. relevant mm. Uh, government agencies mm. uh, to be able to have a holistic approach to it. I know flooding has been a perennial problem. Yeah. Um, some of us at the institution have been worried about the balkanization of local administration mm -hmm. because when you are doing engineering management, it has to be across boundaries. Okay. If you want to resolve 
resolve the issues of the Odor Basin and the mm. flood. You have to look at it. Which will be my last a, question. A, a basin why, wider. Because, why are we having a challenge resolving drainage problems here in Ghana? Why is it a big problem? Because we have poor enforcement of the built environment regulations. Okay. We don't stick to our planning schemes. Okay. You know, if, I mean, only last year, for the first time in a long time, we heard there was flooding on the Tema motorway. Mm -hmm. It's never happened it's before. It's never happened before. But that drainage outpost between Community 2 and Nungwa, mm -hmm. you know, that used to be a, a bed's so nest. So for you, it's enforcement. You know, it's enforcement right. of regulations. It's absolutely important that, one, mm -hmm. an area should be declared a planned area before mm -hmm. any development is allowed to take place. Mm -hmm. And we've substituted planning permission for building permission. They are two different things. And, you know, Kwabune J. AJ Point is Executive Director of the Ghana Institution of engineering uh, we'll join them on Wednesday as uh, Ghana will be joining over a hundred UNESCO member countries across the world to mark world engineering they will be the first world engineering day so we want to join them so that we can celebrate our engineers here and especially the women engineers there's more on you day don't go away